Hi and welcome to Trading with Tan. This is Courage and in the past 3 months I've made over $2000 trading the RSI indicator and in this video I'm going to show you three different strategies that I've been using the RSI to place high probability trades. So in other words I might say this is the only RSI video that you might ever need. So let's start with what is the RSI the RSI or in other words the relative strength index measures the momentum or the strength of the market at a given period so what this RSI does is it measures the ratio of how the market is going up against how it is going down so if the market is moving up with a lot of strength that means the RSI is going to be showing you that the market is going to the overbought and the market is moving down with a lot of momentum the RSI will also go to an oversold so the RSI measures momentum from 0 to 100. If the RSI line is above 70, it simply means the market has been overbought. It has spent a lot of time going up. If the RSI goes below the level 30, it simply shows that the RSI is now oversold because the market has moved very, very fast. So I'm going to explain in more detail. But first of all, let me explain to you how the RSI is calculated. So this is the formula for RSI. And as you can see, it looks very, very intimidating. But you don't need to practice it. You don't need to even know it. I am just showing you this so that you can really understand what is going on with this RSI so that it will make sense when I give you some of the strategies that I think are better than just buying and selling the overbought and oversold of the RSI. Now, before I go, before I do that, people, just help me with one thing. Just hit the like button or leave a comment. If you do that, YouTube is going to know that this video is helpful and it's going to recommend it to more people. So help me by hitting the like button or just leave a comment or subscribe, whatever you want to do. Now, here is the RSI and here is how it works. So the RSI works because of this formula, right? So this formula is how the RSI is created. So this formula states that the RSI is close to 100 minus 100 over 1 plus RS, where RS is the average gain over the average loss. So let's say the market is moving in an uptrend direction and it have moved with 70 pips going up and it have moved with 10 pips going down. Because if you know what we always say in the market, the market moves up and down. So what this formula means is very, very simple. So what happens is... The, the RSI the formula says RSI is equals to 100 min, minus 100 over 1 plus the RS where the RS is average gain and average loss. And let me explain to you what average gain and average loss is. So let's say the market is moving in an uptrend direction, right? And it's moving like this. So the RSI is measured in periods, right? You might hear people saying the 14 period RSI or the 21 period RSI or the 100 period RSI. It simply means you are just calculating the past 14 candles. How many pips were, was the market moving going up against you? How many pips was it going down? Because the market moves in impulsive moves and pullbacks, impulsive moves and pullbacks. So you're just measuring, okay, in the past 14 candles, how big was these impulsive moves and how big was these pullbacks here? If in the past 14 candles we get, uh, let's say, 10 pips, the market makes 10 pips going up. And in in the in the pullbacks, when the market is going down, may, maybe it's pulling back by maybe 3 pips. That simply means if we say 10 divided by uh, by 3, we are just going to get 3 point, maybe 3.3 like this. So we are saying the RSI is calculated by 100 over 1 plus 3.3. This is the average movement of the price, the, the pips that the market has been moving with, right? And now if we say 3.3 minus plus 1, sorry, it's going to be 4.3. Three. So 100 divided by 4.3, we are just going to get around 25, right? Around 25, it's not accurate, but we are going to get around 25. And we are going to say uh, 100 minus 25, and we are going to be left with the RSI level 75, which is above uh, the the 70 line which is considered overbought because the market has been moving strongly to the upside now it goes overbought right there you don't have to remember this you don't have to follow it but you just have to understand how it is created so that when you come up with strategies you are going to know why am i saying you just don't want to buy and sell because of 
the overbought and the oversold right so the, the formula is very very simple i might leave a link in the description so that you can go to a website where you can really read and understand how the formula was created right now if you put the rsi on the screen it's gonna be looking like this and in this here i just want to show you that when you are trading the overbought and the oversold it might not work out as you want right and if you look at this chart here you are going to see that at this point right here so what happens in trading is mostly when you read about the rsi it may be in books or whatever you are going to be told that if the rsi goes above 70 you need to sell so for example in this case you would sell at this point which is around this zone but you can see that this market moved up again here if you sold here you can see the market moved up again uh here if you sold you could have made money but most of the time when you sell or buy because of the overbought and the oversold you are going to see that the market is not going to respect what you think is gonna do so first of all i just want to say do not trade the rsi because of the overbought and oversold no you don't do that and let me tell you why am i saying this i am saying this because if you think about it the rsi is measuring momentum and if the market is moving to the upside with a lot of momentum as i said the rsi is gonna be higher it's gonna go above 70 right but you as a trader would you want to go against the trade would you want to sell if the market is moving up with a very strong momentum i don't think you want to do that you want to trade with the trend if the market is moving down with a lot of momentum you need to follow the market going in that direction right and if the market is going up with a lot of momentum you want to buy because you want to go with the trend you don't want just to buy and sell because of the oversold and overbought and you you, you already see that the overbought and oversold shows you that the market have got a lot of momentum if the market is going overbought it simply means the market the market if got a lot of buying pressure more people are buying or there's more people willing to still to keep buying than there are people who are willing to sell so you don't want to sell you want to follow the trend and go with where the market is going right so number one do not just trade the rsi because of the overbought and the oversold it doesn't work more often than not you are going to lose money if you trade that way so let me show you how you should be trading the rsi indicator right so trading the rsi indicator is very very simple right and i'm gonna show you three Three strategies here that I've been using uh, to trade the RSI or to trade this RSI indicator, right? So the first one is using using the RSI as a trend filter. And let me show you what I'm talking about. If we pull out our chart here and let mark, let's maximize this so that you can really see, right? The first thing that you need to do, you need to insert the RSI on the chart. So I'm going to delete this. So if I insert the RSI, click on indicators, go to oscillators, and now you want to go to the RSI indicator. On the RSI indicator, on the period here, do not use period 14, use period 100, right? And you go to the levels and you want to put level 50 and level 50 once you put level 50 and level 50 and you click ok you are going to see an interesting chart right here now i want you to look at something that is very interesting here if you take this chart and if i mark this zone right here from this point going here you can see that the rsi is below level 50 what is the market doing it's going in a downtrend if you are trading you want to follow the long term trend of the market if the market is trending to the downside you why would you want to buy if the market is trending to the downside so the rsi is a very good indicator when you use it to follow uh the trend because it shows you that okay now the rsi is below 50 what does th that mean it means there is more selling pressure the market is moving to the downside with a lot of momentum rather than it is doing to the upside so if i mark my, my zones here you are going to see that from this point here to this point when the market is below the 50 rsi the market is in a downtrend here you can see again the market is still in a downtrend and is spending all the time below the level 50 if you find where the market is above level 50 we are going to see that that market is that zone is gonna be above 
is going to be in an uptrend so for example if you look here you can see that from this point to this point the rsi have been in an uptrend right and that, that you should you see that by by no by seeing that the rsi is above the level 50 right here so if the rsi is above the level 50 as you can see the, the market is also in an uptrend direction here you can see from this point again to this point that's this point to this point the rsi is above level 50 and the the market is in an uptrend and i'm zooming this chart out uh like this to show you that this you can you, you can catch good big moves right here you can see here if i zoom out you can see the rsi was above and all this time the market was moving in an uptrend wherever you were wherever you were going to buy here you were going to make money in almost in this market because this market was in a long term uptrend so with all the strategies that I use in the market, I make sure that I see that the RSI is above level 50. Uh, the, the RSI, my period 100, is above the level 50. And if that happens, I'm looking only for buy positions. Here's another example. You can see that here from this point, from this point right here to this point, this market was moving in a strong uptrend and also we can see we can confirm that by seeing the rsi being above the level 50 so if we were going to buy or if we were going to place any trades right here you were going to place maybe break and retest trades if the market moves here pulls back moves up breaks and retest this zone but also we are confirming that the market is in a strong uptrend so whatever we do there is chances that we are going to make money in this market until you can see here when the market uh when the market started uh creating a head and shoulder here breaks this zone goes to the downside now you can see the rsi is also going to the downside and it's even crossing below because from this zone to this zone the market had started moving to the downside now the rsi as i said number one use it to use for trend filtering that's the first way that i use the rsi to be able to filter my trends and know exactly what type of a trade trade do i need to place based on what the rsi is doing if it is below 50 as you can see at this point the market is moving to the downside when it goes above 50 the market is moving to the upside so strategy number one use the rsi just to filter the trend if you are going to put in another factors like candlestick patterns and other indicators the first thing that you need is to know the trend and the rsi is the number one to to show you what the market is doing right so let's go back and let's see the strategy number two that i use to straight the rsi is using divergence for strong reversal trades right so as i said the rsi measures momentum in the market right so if the rsi measures momentum in the market what does it mean it means if the price is going up with a lot of with a lot of pressure the rsi also uh if this is a indicator window the rsi is also going to be going up in a very strong momentum right but there's sometimes when you start seeing the rsi losing momentum and moving downside but still the market will be still going to the downside what do you do in that so in that case that is what is called divergence divergence is simply when the rsi is moving in a in a downside direction when the market is still going in an upside direction or if the if the rsi is, is moving to the upside direction and then the market is still moving to the downside direction the rsi shows you that the market is now losing momentum the ratio of which it was moving with going to the upside have now changed it's now slowing down but still the market haven't done that so what do you do you can now take advantage of that rsi and then you can sell maybe if it was going up you can sell uh when the market is higher and then you put your stop losses whatever and then you expect the prices to drop so let me show you an example of that and how i'm able to do exactly that how am i able to place high probability using this divergence that i'm talking about right here now if you look at this chart right here you are going to see an interesting story here when you are so now when you want to use divergence to trade the rsi you cannot be using uh the level of 50 that i was talking about you are going to use uh period 14 here let me click here and you can see you are going to use period 14 
and then you can put levels to wherever you want right but if you just want to put period 14 here and then you click ok once you put period 14 period 14 reacts faster to the market more than period so the period 14 of the RSI reacts faster to the market so you can see these divergences happening very very fast right so here is how it works right so if you look at the if, at, at this market here you can see that the market is moving down and pulls down going up pulls down again and then when the market is pulling down here what is the RSI doing from this point here from this point to this point which is this point to this point the rsi was really reacting that the market is moving down right but now when the market goes at this zone from this zone here and creates a new lower low here the rsi instead of creating new lower low what does it do it creates a lower high or a higher low it's now moving to the to the upside but if you look at this right so let me try to draw this uh, if you look at this you can see that from this point here the market is moving to the downside but the rsi is now moving to the upside what does that mean at this point that, that simply means at this point right here the market was moving very fast and the momentum was high and now the market is still going side downside but the momentum is now low there's now low people or few people there's now a few people selling than there was here right and you can see that because here the market was moving very strongly not creating any pullbacks but now here buyers are starting to challenge the market trying to push the prices up and then you can see that the market is still going down but the rsi is now showing you that the momentum we have shifted to the buying side the, the momentum is now going to the upside and what do you see next this is where you want to be buying and next you can see the market going to the upside a strategy a simple strategy that you can use to buy this is uh drawing maybe a a candle a a, a trend line here and then when the market breaks past the trend line that is where you start to buy in this case right here you start to buy at this point just because you can see the market have already uh re started to reverse and the rsi have now uh, shown you uh, that the momentum is shifting from buyers to sellers and the chances of making money here are very very high let me show you one more example at this same chart here right so if you look at this point right here from this point to this point the market is moving to the upside direction right and but if you look at the same point from this zone you can see that the rsi is now moving to the downside so the momentum that was here the momentum that was at this point right here the rsi the momentum was going up and the market is still going up and then the rsi is now showing you that okay even the market is still moving up but it doesn't have more momentum at this point so it might be a very good time to sell uh, this market so what do you do at this point as i said you can draw your trend line here uh wait for the market to break past the trend line and then you sell and then you are going to get a big move going to the downside this is called divergency trading right simple the, the, the simplest way to understand that is if you see the market moving going up creating a higher high and then the rsi going in the di different direction you can uh you can place your trades at that point right there so i can show you a lot of examples on this chart of the rsi and the market uh moving in different directions but the one thing that you need to understand about this rsi moving to the downside to to the different direction is that most of the time when this happens there is a very strong uh, reversal that that might happen at the at, at that point right here so for example if you come here and if i draw a line here you can see the market was moving up right okay forgive my line it's not okay from this point to this point you can see the market was pushing up but here you can see the rsi is starting to push down a little bit right here so this was this one is not very clear but if you if you are used to to, to trading it you're going to see that okay here there's a lot of momentum the market is still going up but here the market is the rsi is starting to push prices to the downside so you will be looking for a sell position right at this zone right here and later on you can see that the market pushes lower to the downside so for those who are part of uh so for those who receive uh trading signals or strategies or setups from me you can see that most of the time i talk about this entry i talk about this divergence and it happens a lot of the time in the market
Now, let me show you the third way or the third strategy that I've been using the RSI to place high probability trades. And the third way of placing high probability trades using the RSI is to use it to time your entry, right? So there's one thing that you didn't notice maybe earlier and I didn't want to to, to to show you this earlier because I wanted you to follow up with the divergence before you see uh, this thing that I want to show you here. If you take this RSI and if you put it back into our 50 level and 100, so if you, if you put RSI 50 level 50 and then we put uh 50 here and we put uh 50 here and you put 50 and do this you are going to see that there is an interesting thing that whenever the rsi crosses over the market it's a good entry point most of the time right so if you look at this you can see the rsi have been moving to the upside Firstly, it has been moving to the upside and now you can see it's dropping and it crosses over the 50 level. And now from there, if we were just selling on the crossover, sometimes I just sell at the crossover. Why? Because I know that most of the time when this crossover happens here, which is here, this is a good place to place your sell trade. All right. And I'm going to show you again another example. I'm going to show you another example here. I think here you can get a lot of examples. So we are going to mark out here. At the crossover, what happens? The crossover happened and the market kept, go, kept going up. So if we were going to buy, you were going to buy at this crossover here. Here's another example. If you, were, you see this crossover again, the market coming from above and then crossing below the level 50. This was another good entry point to sell your market. If we keep moving forward, you can see that here again, we have a crossover. Market moving, the RSI moving below 50 and now crossing above level 50. And if you buy, it was a good point to buy right here. So here, maybe you could have gotten a losing trade here, which is going to happen sometimes. So place another trade here. Maybe it's going to be a losing trade. But then you can see that another buying, good buying trade was going to come up right at this point right here. As, as, as we speak right now, this is where the market is at. And if you were trading this, you could have sold right there. And then you, you, right now you could be in a profit trade when the market is moving to the downside. So you can see that trading the RSI by using higher uh, levels or because higher periods, like most of the time when you use the RSI, we are using the 14 period uh, RSI. But if you go to the higher RSI, like 50, 100, 200, there's more chances of you getting winning trades if you just use the level 50 and then the higher period. So if you use period 100 and level 50, if the market moves below level 50, you sell. If the market goes above level 50, you sell. So these are the three strategies. Very easy, as you can see, that I have been using the RSI to make money. Here's one thing that I learned in trading. The less things you, you involve in your plan, the better it becomes. Do not scatter your charts. Do not place a lot of things on your charts and do not try to use 50 factors to analyze the market. Just go for that one thing that is working very nicely and go for it until you create an advantage or you create your edge in the market. That's simply how I use the RSI indicator. If you want to learn more about the RSI, you might want to check out the link in the description below. You're going to get our course, which is free, a free Forex trading course for beginners. Now, before you go, there's one thing I want to tell you. If you are trading a very small account, if you are trading an account which is less than $50 or $100, check out our book appearing on the screen right now because in that book, that is called the Small Account Trading Playbook. This book is filled with knowledge of how do you trade a small account and the strategies that you use if you want to make money trading a small account. Thank you for watching this video. If you want more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and I will create more videos each and every week. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.